shut. All right. I'm going to make the whole world deaf from all of your screams. Doodle a doodle a do. <laughs> what are you crying? No, no. That's what you sound like. What's your name, kid? J Jason. Yeah, I'm going to call you Billy. What's wrong, Billy? Little that? was a very good intro. It was a very good intro. It was. And the little kid's name is Jason, too. Which is perfect. It does. It's, it's Kermit the Frog. Yep. And Jason. Yep. Best of both worlds. Yep. Because you know, I'm Froggy and Jason. That's right. So it's perfect. <laughs> I got two names. So we are doing the Tree Frog Underground Radio Show. And we have John with us. Thank you. Also. You're welcome. And got Tree hitting the buttons, doing the mastermind. Behind it all. And so the show today we have is we're going to do a l interview with Matt from Caustic Method, which they are from New York. New York. Yes. New Watertown, York. New York. Watertown, New York. Not to be confused and with Watertown, Massachusetts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's totally. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Well, just, two different places. I want to make sure that everybody... Is, Understands it. Yeah. I did say New York, though. I didn't say Massachusetts. No, I just bet people get confused sometimes. No, if you know. say New York. I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's the problem. Don't just say. Think. <laughs> I do think. That's the problem, too. I know. All right. So just as long as we get that straight. It's straight. It's straight. <laughs> and so, you know, today coming in here, though, man, I'm telling you, I asked John. I was texting him like crazy because of traffic. Rubbernecking. Yeah. That's the one thing that yep. is killing me is rubbernecking. Don't even get me started. Yeah. Well, it's, I'm just starting it, so go I ahead. <laughs> Let me tell you. Rubber, rubber necking is – the it, it probably aggravates me more than anything else in the world. It, I mean, especially, you know, being a firefighter and, you know, having to be on scene on at a car accident and you get these people and they're not even paying attention to the road. No. They're just paying attention to everything else that's going on. The smashed up cars, the bodies hanging out and, you know, everything else. And it's just – Woohoo! Hi. Yeah. You know? <laughs> It's like, why do you think this person just got into a car accident? Because clearly they weren't paying attention. So let's cause another one. Yeah, and I'm one to uh, throw myself under the bus. I do text and drive, that obviously, because I was safe. doing that while we were texting. You did, too, because I was texting you. I called you. You were texting back. I called you. There were some times that you texted me, too. Don't lie. I, all right, I Don't have. lie to, to the viewers have. here now just because we're on TV, you know. Well. Dude, I, I see you recording radio shows and posting them up on Ustream all the time. You're literally driving the driving car. Driving the car. At, while holding the camera and everything. He's, <laughs> yeah. oh, and he's yelling at people. And he, he tells me that he thinks if he put his Domino pizza sign on his roof, <laughs> that that gives him all the clearance like he's a police officer. Yeah. People should just watch out for him. People yes. don't even get out of the way as it is for police officers or fire trucks or ambulances. But my Domino sign will oh, make it get, just happen. They get right out of the way. Oh, man, that should be above... The law. Like right out of the way. My domino sign lights oh, yeah. up. Boom. Like, even the police officers and it's red should and blue. pull over. It's red and blue, too. So yeah. I guess, the police know. officers should pull over mm -hmm. and the firefighters yeah. when a domino sign is on Absolutely. The car. Absolutely. People need their food. Yeah. Forget about the people that are in a car accident. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. dominoes are to the rescue. That's right. Yeah, that's right. And <laughs> don't forget it. <laughs> and um, also, the other thing is, is uh, you know, I um, just had an ultrasound. Yes, uh, congratulations last again, thing. by the way. Thank you. And the ultrasound went, the baby is perfect, beautiful, healthy, uh, as it looks. I mean, it's an ultrasound picture. It looks beautiful to me, I guess. Um, and so that's the last ultrasound until the baby's born, which is May 24th. Due Fantastic. Day. Yep. Jackson. Jackson. Is the name. Yep. Try to guess where I got the name from. From? What TV show? Go ahead, guess. I don't know. But Jackson. Yeah. What? J A X S O N. Yeah, I don't know. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> yeah. Well, that doesn't mean that everybody else in the world doesn't know what Jackson is. I mean, it's Sons of Anarchy. Oh, okay. I got Opie. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My See, I never, I never was watched okay. that show. Yeah, so. well, you should. All right. Peg you know, Bundy at its finest. You know who's watching it right now? Who? My father. Really? Yeah. He's and loving he's, it? And he loves it. See? Yeah. You see? My father's 63 years old. There you go. It. 63. It, there you go. Now you got to watch. I aged him a little bit. 62. Oh. Well. Whatever. Sorry. It's only a year. No, wait. 
No, he's 63. Never mind. You don't even know your dad's up. age? He's, yeah, no, he's 63. Really? What a bad he's son you are. I'm 51. And um, the other stuff we're going to talk about, too, that we're going to get into is um, the. Did you hear about that guy that got shot by the police officer in South Carolina? Of course I did. Who has it? Who hasn't? It's. National but what news, irks man. me, though, is when I go on social media, which is Facebook, I go on there and I see these people's comments, and I'm like, look, you guys don't know these people personally. You don't know what happened. I mean, yeah, the guy had, you know, that child support, and he had a warrant for his arrest, but that doesn't mean, like, when you're in that situation, he, he did run. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you something. The cop didn't have to murder him. Or shoot Could've him just, in the back. No, shoot him in the back. I mean... In worst case scenario, him. yeah, and he did though. Don't he did tase him. Don't tase me, bro. And the the thing is though is that if at all you have to use your gun, you didn't have to kill him. You could have just shot him in the leg. I mean, if anything, the guy didn't even have a weapon. So it doesn't been, even matter. There's been a lot of this stuff going on nationally. You know, uh, it seems like at least for uh, more recently than I can remember ever. You know, yeah. uh, between. Ferguson, everybody knows about Ferguson, yep. the whole Michael Brown thing. I mean, thing. the Rodney King thing. That um, was in Boston, we had the, the cop in Boston that got shot in the face. Yes. I, they finally released the video and showed the whole thing. The guy literally got out of the car and gun, boom, point blank range right in the cop's face. Oof. Luckily, the, the cop's you know going to survive. But, and, you know, and, I mean. But that's the thing is every like cops are getting bad names because of certain cops that are doing the wrong right. thing. And because of situations like yeah. this. Yeah, and know? then you got the the whole black and white thing happen too mm -hmm. because yeah. of the Rodney King thing, all that stuff. Yeah. And I don't think it had anything to do with that, but I, th I just think the cop, what I believe, should have to go to prison for life because if it was reversed, you know that guy would have been going to prison. Of course. And just go to prison have the inmates have Adam, the ones that he put Ooh, in there. That wouldn't be good. It would be. So that's what we're going to get into. Uh, but right now, we're going to take a little break, come back, and do the interview with my friend Matt and play their video. Fantastic. The virus. I like it. Be right back. All right. Welcome back to the Tree Frog Show. Welcome with back. Welcome back, dude. Welcome. That was a long break. Welcome so back. welcome back, welcome back, welcome. You know what's great though. Singer. You know what's great though is that that was a long break, but yeah. when the people at Watch home it. see this, it's only going to be like <laughs> two seconds. thirty seconds. It'll be perfect. <laughs> the magic I love of it. TV. Magic, magic of TV <laughs> and magic. audio. Yep. Equipment that we have today. That's another story. So, I told you we're going to be interviewing the singer from the band Caustic Method, as you can see on the screen. And we're going to put them on the phone right now. The band that you were actually in. The band I was in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Matt. What's up, guys? What's what going on today? What's hey, happening? What's up? Good. So Thank you for having me on. I really appreciate it, guys. Appreciate no, it a lot. No problem, man. I'm glad that uh, I'm able to do this, man. This is uh, awesome. If I can't make it with the music, I said I would, I would rather be near the music at hey, least. you got the perfect face for radio. <laughs> That's, That's exactly. I said that to him this this afternoon. <laughs> yeah, my friend John said that this afternoon. I do have the best face and body for for radio. Yeah. Because when if I'm on TV, you won't be able to. You can only see my neck because I'm so short. So, um, so Matt, I just wanted to ask you, man, how does it feel from going like from starting where you started? to where you're at now as a as a band as you because i know that you've started this like from scratch all the way in the beginning so how does it feel going from yeah, where you were to around now 2001 it started gigging really heavy probably around what, 2003 2004 how does it feel um i want to say i want to say amazing you know like it should be like you know a complete life-altering situation but you know as well as i do this is just you know, now you sit, you're you sitting at the table, you know, now it's time to eat. And this is where all the work starts. You know, obviously it's something you dream about and you wait for, and then when it gets here, you're like, holy crap, we got a lot of things to get squared up. You got a lot of things to kind of like, you got to change your life, literally. You got to, you know, mm -hmm. you got to almost like, uh, you have to realign everything. You know what I mean? We've been doing the same thing for so long. Now it's like, okay not going to be just you know four or five shows a week it's going to be going out for you know three four weeks a month yep. so you know you got to kind of alter a whole bunch of ways of thinking and old habits die hard type of thing you know what i mean so oh yeah definitely making this and you know as well as, yeah. and you know 
I know because I, being on tour with like when I went on tour like with four mm-hmm. other guys, you have to be cool with them and you're going to be living with them for the next month and a half and everything. So everything falls in, in, into play, you know. And my boy John here has a question for you too. So Hey, man, what's going on, man? What's up, man? Great to meet you. Yeah, you too. Um, so congratulations on the uh, – on the, the record deal. That's awesome. Thank you. Um, cool. Now, uh, I did get a chance to, to listen to uh, to a couple of the songs. Uh, I went on uh, causticmethod.com. Oh, yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, so I got to listen to a couple of the uh, new songs from the new album. Um, yep. And uh, it's great, man. Um, Thanks. How, Appreciate it. Now, when I, I mean, when, I, when I was growing up, and Froggy can vouch for this, uh, you mm-hmm. know, there was a pretty good um, hardcore metal scene uh, down the Boston area. I'm sure... You know, you know, being in the, uh, you know, being in that genre of music, you, you know oh, that. I but. lived there. I lived in Boston for 13 years. So, yeah. yeah, I was there from 90 to about 2000 something or something like that. How, uh, yeah, how, how is the, how's the scene in, in, New, in New York? In New York, well, the problem is none of these markets are really like, you know, they're not as big as a Boston, let's say. So that means you've got to really pretty much find four different markets and add it up to one Boston. So we've, you know, just basically been hammering the hell out of Syracuse, Rochester, um, Watertown, Binghamton, Albany. We've been just hammering the whole state and then, you know, heading out to Cleveland and Erie. And then we just got back from Wisconsin and Illinois. You kind of just got to travel. You know how it is. You oh, just yeah. got to get the name out there. Absolutely. You stay in your one town and hope that somebody's going to just show up to the door and say, oh, you guys are great. Here's a check. There's a bus waiting for you out front. Get in. Let's go. Yep. It just, you know, the days of people searching out talent have kind of died. Yeah. Now it's a matter of like, okay, what talent's floating to the top through business savvy, through, you know, fan base. You know, everything's kind of turned into you have to sort of make a little bit of a splash before they're even going to like, give you any notice whatsoever right you can be the most talented person in the world and if if you're not making any noise and haven't built any fan bases or anything it's the most unfortunate thing is that you're probably not going to get listened to or picked up and honestly guys you know me i've been doing this for a long time the idea of a deal just didn't seem like a reality in this world anymore you know what i mean i in all these years in New York State, I don't know if anybody's been picked up in the last 15 years yeah. honestly, that I could think of in the state. Obviously, the city is a whole other beast in and of itself, you know what I mean? Yeah. But as far as all these bands on the New York circuit, I mean, nobody's really gotten the hatch to get open to the next level. I mean, I really hope that we open the hatch and other people can come through and, you know, not that New York's going to be the new Seattle or whatever, but there's some killer talent, Froggy, you know, around here. There's yeah. some really killer players, some great writers. Big. Um, but it's been stigmatized for years. And you know what uh, else is to, big? Uh, the, the other thing that's big, though, for what's dying in the music scene is everything's like YouTube now. You know what I mean? Uh, like it, yeah, the, the whole social media it, thing too. from when it was back in the day to now, it's not about CD sales anymore. It's like, no. y- you know, you, it's you, it's about... Friends, likes, all this data. Yeah. turn into a data fed economy now, yeah. Yeah. Big industry. time. If yep. you're not making any buzz numbers wise, you don't they don't see you. You know yeah. what I mean? If you're not on the spreadsheet or on the play counter or something like that, you you really don't exist. It's kinda it's pretty sad. It is. And the yeah. Facebook they believe it or not, record companies look at the Facebook likes. How many people oh, yeah. are when we talking about the first thing they wanted was, yep, yeah, send me a link to your Facebook, your YouTube account. Um, your Twitter, you know, they want to see what you have for a, a fan base, how much activity do you get from those fans. Uh, you know, with our deal, it wasn't, you know, they they heard it, and we're a really good fit for that label. I mean, yeah. all the bands that are on that label, if they don't have anything too extreme in, in like, yeah. a deathcore realm. They don't have anything too extreme in the pop direction. They're just, you know, like well, we are, just real straight-ahead American metal. Yeah. Not, you know, not redefining the world and not doing anything ground-changing, but just being super confident and standing behind what we what we say, you know yeah. what I mean? So, and with that, you know, it's kind of like, uh, I just keep telling you, but just make the art that you love, that you feel, and just, just throw it out there, you know what I mean? If you, I, I never worried about the deal, Frog, you know that? Yeah, oh I never yeah. never worried about getting signed because there was always people in front of us that gave us shit. So, like, if, if we were playing shows to six people a night for the last five years, I... I I probably wouldn't feel too much motivation to keep going, but 
it just keeps growing over the years and growing and growing. And now this whole virus thing, it's turned into this self-fulfilling uh, thing where people know what the virus is and they know it's about spreading the word about the band. So I'll see people spreading the word about us all over the place. So it's not even just the music. Now it's turned into like this, you know, just a group of people that know how to propagate it, which is really different. You know, I mean, I don't see that happen too often, but... I hope it really catches on a national level once the record comes out. Yeah, dude. And Just the concept, you know? Yeah, and speaking yeah. of the record, because we're going to get to the video, um, mm-hmm. speaking of the record, if you want, you can tell people when the, the release is. It's, it's a June 2nd, right? Yeah, yeah. The album comes out worldwide on uh, Pavement Entertainment, June 2nd, and it's been it's being distributed by Sony Red, so you should be able to buy this at record pretty much anywhere. Awesome. Uh, at the local 7-Eleven or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you could. Be, that'd be <laughs> awesome. The new Walmart is going to be 7-Eleven. So the, here's the thing. Um, before we cut into your video, I want to, one, ask, what band would you love? Because I know you guys have played with a lot of national acts, like Hatebreed, Corn, yeah. all them. What band would Soil? you play played, with? Didn't, he you, just, didn't you guys just play with Soil, too? Yep. They play with soil. A couple There's rounds a couple of show, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Shows too. And yeah. Were they cool dudes? Our label rep is actually Tim King, the bass player of Soil. Oh, oh really? Cool. Yeah, and he hadn't seen us up until last week or two weeks ago, I guess. And, and it's kind of funny now when we go into a venue, it's like we just do our thing, and it's you kind of turn it into your hometown almost. You know, the way if you get people reacting, then they feel comfortable, and then once they're comfortable, it's like being home. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody's just in the moment, in the vibe, and he was like, we bring a lot of pain the bands out with us, but I don't really see too many reactions like that. That's pretty neat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, yeah. so, so I the, was like, well, put us on tour, and we'll do that every night, everywhere. Yeah. No matter. <laughs> <laughs> and the question, the two things yeah. I want to ask, one mm-hmm. is, um, it's like a bucket list. For me, it would probably be playing with Slipknot or something like that. Mm. What band... Would you be able to knock off your but like what band would you want to play with to knock off your bucket list? Yeah, the only one that I haven't played with, like Head Pee, I'm a huge fan now. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Um, that they're one of my favorites, but Machine Head, I have yet to open up to those guys. Yeah, and, that would know, be I'm awesome. A huge Machine Head fan. Yep, since, I know that because I was... my eyes, you know what I mean. Yeah. So to see them going through the paces and slowly grow over time, that's how I want to go. You know what I mean? Slow and steady wins the race. Yep. I don't want. You know, peak at number ten, and then never get another record on the charts. Those guys have just kept their fan base steady and kept people talking, and and just stayed true to what they do and didn't follow any trendy shit. You exactly. know? They really didn't either. I love Machine no, Head. No, their formula is still pretty intact. I think if anything, the playing has just got a lot more intense and intricate. But that's that's cool. All right, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. So if you want, man, I'm gonna let you introduce the virus video, and then we'll play it. Great, thank you guys so much. This is the virus from Caustic Method. Alrighty. Where the hell am I? Who the hell are you? I'll pay. You're all the same. You think this is about money? Soon you'll see. Soon you'll understand.
go. That's it. That was it. That was the virus by Caustic Method. Caustic Method. I like the end, the to be continued. Yeah. You know, not that there was any doubt that there was going to be, you know, more, Another. To, uh, more to come from them, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, um, that would have, yeah, that would have. It's good, you know, it's good, man, that uh, I'm, you know, but I'm a hardcore metal fan, you know. Yeah. I have been for years and years, so it's good to see some, you know, some good good metal coming out nowadays, you know. And not only that, you know what's funny about the two big kids? To be continued thing. So many times you see like one hit wonders. Yeah. You know, that would yeah. stink if yeah. they were to have that to be continued and then mm. all of a sudden, then they're, where yeah. are they? <laughs> That's not going to happen. But, yeah, I no. mean, they've been around for so long now, anyways, you know, I mean, yeah. so. They're not going anywhere. Plus, Matt's but a really good friend of it's mine. Good, it's good to see, it's good to see, you know, bands like that making it, you know. Yeah, and I'm glad I was a part of it when I was, you know. Yeah, and Absolutely. And uh, you know what's funny? I'm going to make fun of myself for a minute. Go ahead. Um, like, I'll, it I'm seems like jump, I'm just letting everybody know I'm gonna jump right <laughs> on this bandwagon. It seems like every time I left the band, they did better. <laughs> every time you left? Oh, every time you left a band. A band. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's absolutely true. Because I've been yeah. in more than one. You have been. You have been. <laughs> I've been in a few. Yeah. And uh, one with me. It, one with you. Yeah. Force, force, force of habit. habit. I uh-huh. talked about that. Remember that? Remember the um, the, the stabbing that was out front of our studio. Yes. You know who, f- <laughs> you know who saw it happen. Yeah, you. No. Oh no. April. It was April and Shanna was up there too, right? Yeah, but April was walking down to her car. Yeah. And then ran back up, came in. She's like, "Yeah, somebody just got stabbed outside." It's, and we walk out. I like out. how you just said that. Say we, that, do that again. <laughs> yeah, somebody just got stabbed outside. One more time. Yeah, somebody just got stabbed outside. <laughs> was that good? <laughs> yeah, that was good. All right. Because <laughs> that's how she said it. Pretty much, she just had like this. She wasn't even. She's That's how Bro- she said it. She's from Brockton, so I mean, she did. She was just yeah, like, but yeah. She just said it Someone's like that. Stabbed. Huh? Yeah, but That's how, That's she, how said she said it. it. Yeah. All right. So go you ahead, want, tell your story. You want to get her on the phone? Yeah. Well, tell her that. To, just say the story, but do, so, that, do that again. Okay. So we were all chilling. Yeah, at but the, how did she say it again? Someone just got stabbed outside. All right. Now yeah. go. And we are, and we all, of course, you know, we go running out there, and me being a you know blood and guts kind of person, I was all amped up about that. I ran outside. And, you know, the guy sitting there, he's got multiple stab wounds in his back. We take his shirt off. Jeff Schaefer was there. Yeah. Actually, he was, like, the, one of the first ones. I didn't, you First know, on the scene? He, yeah, well, we all were first on the scene, but, you know. And then <laughs> we all, and then, and and then we all stayed d- outside till the ambulance showed up. And the ambulance showed up, picked the guy up, and took, out, and took off. And then it was in the Enterprise that an off-duty nurse came to the aid of a stab victim. Yeah, and there was on, no nurse there. On Montello Street. Was there a guy that came out that was a nurse? Actually, yeah, there was a guy that upstairs, came out. That, but we weren't noticed. In T, in that would have been, imagine if the band Force of Habit yeah. was on there. Local hardcore band comes to aid of Stab Victim. Yeah. That would have been much better. You know I what? Think. I think so because that would have been like telling people, oh, these people aren't so bad. Yeah. They're not all hardcore, brah, 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 tattooed. They can <laughs> help. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So. I think that should have been the, the I headline. I do too. I agree. Bad press is good press sometimes, and that's not even bad press. That's that awesome. That would have been good press. That would have yeah, been good. Maybe, been maybe then good Force I Have It would have blown up. Yeah. And we would. Maybe. I don't know. We'd be multimillionaires. I don't know. Jeff singing though. Yeah. 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 Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. No, probably not. <laughs> um, so, you know, I don't know, man. I, I, I'm just very excited about this. Yeah, this is good, man. This This is exciting. This is is. exciting stuff. And, you know, I I hope one day that, you know, won't be doing graveyard shift stuff. Do you have uh, a wedding ring on your finger? Well, it's it's a... Is it a promise ring? No, it's not a promise ring. It's it's, You sure? It's a wedding band, yeah. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, I'm just making sure. I can't Of course you can. Do I have your approval? Uh, I don't know. Wait, so what are you... You jealous of something? Like, Maybe. I can't have a wedding band on? Maybe. No, what you the can. heck was that? What? I was Why just asking. Even... Yeah, but is that a wedding band on? Well, like... because if you did get married, I didn't get an invite to the wedding, so. You know. Well, then there's a reason. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously you're invited because I've already told you about I know. it. So, I know. you know what? Just hey. Quit your, quit your baby. And... I'm trying to find so, stuff to talk about. For my friends that I want to show you the ultrasound picture, actually, the newest one. Um, from today, and where is a, a camera I can show it at? Boom, there it is. If you can see it, boom, see it? Yeah, that's pretty small. You see that? You see that? Oh, you there you that? go. Now oh, there, there you we go. go. Look at that. Yep. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see that? Can you see the outline of it? Thank God he looks like his mother. Yeah, he has a face only a stomach can love. 
<laughs> you know, and they showed the bar. The, the, I'm like, my son is putting me in a shame right now, and it's on a screen. But I, I, I told myself that, you know, the screen adds about, you know, makes it look bigger. Right. You know. Yeah. So he's not really putting me in a shame. It was his leg. It was his leg. Yeah, no. Um, that was a weird looking leg if it was a leg. His foot. His foot. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, uh, for the next for the next uh, show that we're gonna have, we're gonna have another um, we're gonna have another guest on. Hopefully, you'll be able to get in contact with somebody so we can have. Yeah, I'm gonna make banner. make some phone calls and see see if we can uh, you know get him to come on for a few minutes and talk to us. And he's on tour right now, so. Uh, what it, you know, what his availability is, I don't know, but um, I can at least uh, give it a whirl, see if he's willing to come on and talk to us for a few minutes. Figure it out. I just want to say thank you to ECAT for letting us do this. Absolutely, they're awesome. They were great. Thank you, Jason Daniel, and that's my name, Jason Daniel. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get into that. Why did you thank yourself? Time. Because I don't know. I, don't I just know felt you. like it because right. I love myself. So, thank you for listening in to the Tree Frog Show. Uh-huh.